So, I have some videos filmed, I believe. Don't call me on it. I, I took a step back from YouTube, and I probably will for a couple more weeks. Um, just, uh, I won't go too far into depth, but a lot of family issues going on, um, and they need to be attended to. But I have a little bit of time, so I do want to quickly publish a video, because I am working on a project. So, I have been trying to find good RGB fans for systems, and I love the PC Cooler fans, but uh, the downside is you have to use a controller or have a dressable RGB. And that works for the system I'm going to be building going forward, but I kind of have a system that I'm doing some upgrades on, so I don't have that pleasure of working with that. So I don't have any kind of RGB capability whatsoever. But today, I have something from a company called Up Here. And there are five fans in here. There is a remote. So I kind of want to do a really quick unboxing, show you guys what comes in it. And uh, I think I'm going to hook them up to a, a, one of the computers I have. Uh, the computer that's going in is not completely built. And I do apologize for the echo. Uh, I'm not really happy with the performance of the microphone I got sent. It's not bad for a basic microphone, but a lot of issues with volume level depending on like what part of my neck it's in. So I need to invest, that'll be next is I need to invest in either like a microphone that goes on there or a better clip mic. So that'll be next on the list. Well, let's go ahead, let's get this bad boy opened up and see what's in here. Let's get her opened. Always seems to use a pen to open this stuff here. So this is going to come with Ah, these go on the corners here for anti-vibration, so we have one, two, three, four, and five. Good there. Let's take a look at one of these fans. So I'm going to say these were 35 last time I shipped to my door. So let's look at all the mounting hardware so you get case screws for all of them. That's good. So this looks to be a controller of some sort, and I need a remote. That's the big thing. Is there a remote in here? Yes, it looks like there is. So we'll take a look at the fan in a minute. Again, I don't, I'm not looking for necessarily amazing fans, we're just looking for fans that work. We do have a remote. Uh, this is probably has some use to it somewhere. Yeah, okay, so that's where it goes. So this can, wow, this can handle a lot of, uh, a lot of fans, it looks like. At least one, two, three, four, five. So it looks like we can do ten. So that's pretty cool. This is what the remote looks like. This will have some use. But here, here's the fan. So, um, let's look at blade design. So this is going to be, this is a, a lower, if I remember correctly, I want to say it's 1100 RPM. Plus or minus 10%. So that will be very loud. That's kind of what I was shooting for. Uh, this is going to be going to Cooler Master. I think it's going to be going to Q300L. So the I've used that case before. I do like the curvature of the fan. So these should have good enough static pressure. Maybe not necessarily best in class. But you know this is going on a Ryzen 3 system. So we're going to be using all five fans. So I, I think it should be perfectly fine. Um, but their list is quiet fans and the reviews are pretty decent. So what's interesting about this though, and this I do like and I'll explain here in a minute. So this board that I'm working with here, uh, it's a ASRock AB350M-HDV. So this has, I want to say, two fan headers plus the CPU headers. Not a lot. But what's really cool about this is this has one cable. And this one cable controls everything. So you simply will plug it into the fan controller like such. You'll plug this most likely in for power, I suspect. And yes, I suspect, yep, this is for power in. And then this remote should hopefully have a battery. I'm curious, it uses a CR2025, so that's good. Let's see if it comes with one here. I'd be really upset if it doesn't. I have to like push to the side and release, I guess. Killing me here.
There we go. Okay, yeah, it does include one, but the cool thing is it's a standard watch battery. Um, there is a, a manual that comes with it. Um, it is entirely in another language on the one side and English on the other. So let's let's take a really quick look here. Um, so autoplay 366 modes, you can do that. You can um, power pa play pause. Um, so it looks like you can change speed, colors. Uh, you can save things, adjust brightness. So this should have a fair bit of, of control. So one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this in. Um, I, I'll, maybe I'll plug in all five fans and be, you know, a little risky here. We'll take a look, see how this works. So so far, one of the things I do like is uh, quiet. So that's definitely good. Uh, let me grab this manual here so I can understand how all these work. They look to be at max RPM, which is perfectly fine. That's what we're going to set it out here. Hmm. Good. So I'm just literally hitting different colors. Perfect. So RGB sequence adjustment. So it looks like we can adjust the brightness, which is good. So we'll keep this at max. Different modes here, so now that just seems to be cycling through colors. But it says there's oh yeah, there's tons of different modes, which is pretty neat. So personally I would like RGB effect here. Um, <laughs> what's auto? That's pretty neat. That's probably the setup I'll go with for now. But um, I'm really happy, you know, this works. Um, you know, these are not very loud. You know, they are moving some air. So they'll honestly work fine from, from my guess here, to be honest. I don't have any reservations that these are going to work bad. I'm just glad they actually do work. Curious what I kind of want it to cycle through colors. That's yeah, it. That's RGB enough, right, guys? So it just dawned on me that I never did a conclusion for the up here uh, RGB fan. So, hi, Gino. <laughs> Apparently he's a fan, but um, the controller was pretty cool. Uh, the fact that you could change all sorts of different modes and um, you know you can change different color, speed, etc. But honestly, the 1100 RPM, which isn't usually a problem for a decent fan, really was lackluster. So I'm not going to show you guys performance tests, but just note that the CPU at stock, the 2200G, hit around 72 degrees Celsius. And that was in push-pull, granted in a, that's my dog scratch himself. Yes, I see you there. Um, in a push-pull configuration, it had uh, two intake, one exhaust fan. Yeah, it's a micro ATX case, but at stock, it just, it shouldn't have run that warm. So the fans definitely struggle, and I was using a blower style GTX uh, 1060. So there wasn't any additional heat going to the case. So if you need just nice fans that are really cool and you don't want to spend a lot of money and it came with five and you know airflow isn't a concern because you're not running a lot of heat sure get them otherwise i recommend where yet these guys now they do require addressable rgb unless you want to use the inline connector it doesn't have additional remote but those are about 35 38 dollars for three and they work so well that i use them on my radiator i'm happy with them so if you guys want to buy them, I'll link both in the description below. Otherwise, guys, hit the like button if you liked it, dislike if you dislike. Uh, definitely get subscribed. It helps me out. Buy things from Amazon. It helps me out. Uh, but as always, guys, this is Steve from PC Budget Solutions, and I'll see you later on. And as Gina, well as well, down the road.